<clears throat> so hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be doing a different video than my usual kind of videos. Now I did one of these last year and it was a bit controversial because not a lot of people liked it. I think the format I did it wasn't the best and so it kind of made it look like I was pretty much for every character. I was just like saying, eh, maybe they can die. Um, this one I've kind of been quite strict with myself. I said I'm only allowed to give, give uh, they're going to live, they're going to die, or we're not going to see them. So this is what these keys are. So this is they're going to live, this is they're going to die, and this is we just won't see that character. Now I've not included every tiny little character, but I've at least included the characters I think are important. And um, yeah, I may have missed maybe one like background character or something like that, or another like kind of character that's in the background that might actually turn up. If I have, I do apologise. And if you want to see that, then just leave it in the comments and tell me what you think that particular character um, is going to happen to that. Well, what's going to happen to that character? So yeah, okay. So um, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I've kind of gone with John and the North. Now, I've not included every Northman, but I've included kind of the main ones, at least the ones that we kind of heard dialogue from. So, of course, first of all, we have John. So, do I think John is going to die? And I think it's kind of inevitable that he has to die. I, I don't think they are going to give us a happy ending, although it does seem that they're going in this kind of... What the, from the writing last season, they almost gave us good guys and bad guys, which I thought Game of Thrones always kind of came away from. I think John has always been a good guy, though. I, I don't think John has ever really been a bad guy. I think he's always had um, you know people's best interests, and he's always been kind, you know, kind to a degree, but just... Um, so John has always been the good guy, and I don't think a good guy can really survive. Um, so I think he will die. Uh, he'll be the kind of big death at the end. Then we have Sansa. I think Sansa probably will be fine. I mean, it, I feel like in the books it's possible she'd die, but in the show I think I think she'll be fine. I um, I don't I don't see the show killing her. Arya is the same. I don't really see the show killing her either. Um, doesn't really seem. There's not really much point killing her um i think um, um yeah it's a bit weird though because like last last predictions um last year i did say that i think aria is going to die in season seven because i didn't see where aria was going to go i think you know she's killed all these people but um she's kind of killing off everyone who's wronged her family but what what does she do from there you know um, she, it, I'd never really seen saw how they were gonna put her with the whole war with the Night King, but I feel like um, she will have uh, a role to play now. She's got the dagger. I feel like that will come to use somehow. But then we have Bran, and I think Bran will die um, because I think it will happen in a weird way. Like I think it's possible. Now I know this is a theory that he's either the Night King or that he's Bran the Builder or that he's um, you know, the actual Free-Eyed Raven, the old guy that we saw in the tree, the, the original Free-Eyed Raven, that he's actually that guy as well. He's both of them. Um, that's possible. I think one of those things will happen or something else where we actually figure out that Bran is from the past, uh, or he goes into the past, I should say. Um, yeah, and so from that we know that he dies some way, one way or another. Or I think it's possible that he will give his life while walking into a dragon maybe that's a possibility i think you know something like that i feel like bran will die though i think the, this kind of all-powerful being that he now is i don't see him surviving um but then with mira i think mira will be fine i don't see much point with mira dying uh like how it would serve to the story but i do think we will see her again a little bit i feel like bran will probably die or she'll figure out that bran is someone else and she'll be there to kind of either comfort him or something like that i don't know uh but i feel like we will see her again and i do I, but i do feel she'll be fine and then we have highland reed i do think we will see highland reed again but i think it will be i feel like we'll see him in like maybe the first episode or the second episode but actually probably be like the second or third episode when john kind of calls all the banners once he knows the night then the walkers are coming he probably will call the banners and i presume the highland reed will come will march um north and um i think highland reed will confirm to john who he is like his pet parentage i feel like that will happen and um yeah um and so he basically tells everyone who john really is or maybe he just tells john um so john knows and he knows it's not just bran you know flipping tripping balls uh and then i feel like he will die in that episode i feel like we'll see him his death uh, and then we have lord, lord royce oh no we have davos <laughs> apparently we're doing davos first so um 
Davos, I think, will actually die. Now, a lot of people think he will be, he will survive. Now, I know I don't want to be ageist, but I have, I feel like it's always older characters. I always feel like I die at the end of finales. Um, you know, it's just that that thing. Um, <laughs> but I feel like Davos will give his life somehow. I feel like he maybe will try and kill the Night King. Like that's a scene I really see. Um, him charging at the Night King with Dragonglass, stabbing the Night King in the back, thinking that he'll end the war. Um, and as a result, the Night King will turn around and kill him. And it turns out the Night King is immune to Dragonglass. It's only Valerian Steel that can kill the Night King. Something like that. I know that's a bit bizarre, but I think that would be kind of cool, actually. And it make kind of sense, I guess, maybe. Because I, I presume the Night King turned the rest of the walkers using his magic weird touch finger. And that he was turned with the Dragonglass. So Dragonglass can't kill him because Dragonglass is what made him. Um, that's what I kind of feel like is um, going to happen. I don't think Dragonglass can kill the Night King. Anyway, we have Lord Royce. I think Lord Roche will just die, just in the background, maybe. Um, either defending um, Robin Aaron or just dying, fighting. And then we have Robin Aaron, and I think Robin Aaron is going to be safe. I don't see Robin Aaron dying. Um, to be honest, I kind of saw it in Season 6. Possibly Littlefinger trying to get more power in the veil. But now that Littlefinger's been removed from the equation, I don't think Robin Aaron is going to die. Uh, Brienne of Tarth, I... Okay. Brienne of Tarth, I think, is going to be fine. Again, uh, I feel like sh this kind of whole thing... I, I don't think the girls can die without Brienne dying, because um, then it almost makes her character pointless. Like, she, the whole point of her character is she's keeping her vow to keep these guys safe. I mean, it is possible that maybe she might she might die and Jamie that that was a quite a nice thing. I, I I that was like a fan thing where people say that maybe she'll die and in her kind of dying breath she makes Jamie swear an oath that he'll keep he'll keep the girl safe. Uh, and then you know she sort of passed the oath onto Jamie and then that that would be kind of nice, I guess. But I just personally I see her surviving and the same with Pod. I know I think he dies in the books. I I don't remember really, but um yeah. Uh, I don't see Pod dying. I think you know he's kind of the, this like the future essentially. So I don't really see much point killing him off, and I think he should be fine. Anyway, moving on, we have more of the North. So this is just a few of the North, and I've thrown Sam and Gilly and all that in there as well, just just to, just so we don't confuse stuff. But first of all, we have Liana Mormont, um, and I think she'll be fine. I don't really see them killing her off. It would be kind of I think the pa fan. Well, first of all, the fans would be so annoyed because they seem to have um seem to love her so much. That character. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm I'm I don't really care too much about. Her. I mean, if she is pretty cool. I guess she's pretty savage. But um, yeah, I don't really see her dying because who the hell's gonna control Bear, Bear Island after that? Just I think she, I'm pretty sure she is the last Mormont. Maybe not. Um, and then we have I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I think this is Lord Kerwin. This is Lord Mandalay and this is Robert Glover. So yeah, Robert Glover I think is going to die. Um, uh, Lord Mandley I think will die and Lord Kerwin I think will all die in the fight. I think these will just be soldiers that will die essentially um, while fighting the, the White Walkers. Uh, yeah, I think just be some like kind of recognisable faces that we'll see just die in the background kind of thing. And then we have um, Alice Carstark, uh, I think she'll be grand, and we have Ned Umber, I think those two kids will be cool because they're called this how kind of like they're the future thing. I don't really see them much point of them introducing them and then killing them. If anything, I think maybe their castles will help out, so John, that decision that John made where he put them in charge of the castles, maybe actually might work out, maybe they turn out, maybe not there. Because obviously they're kids, so they might not be very, they won't be strategic geniuses, but maybe they come up with some, um, you know, they just hold the castles instead of just, like, cause I guess he could have given them to someone else, but you know, um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, Maester Walken. Uh, I think Maester Walken will just be another kind of familiar face, we'll just see get stabbed, because I do think Winter Winterfell will fall. I don't see Winterfell actually surviving. I think what will happen is Winterfell will uh, probably... Uh, get overrun uh, just for a bit and then they'll reclaim it obviously after then we have Sam I think Sam will be fine I do think he will be this kind of guy who writes down the history and I also think it's a possibility that the Citadel might actually burn and I'll get into that in a little bit later when we get to uh, Grand, uh, Grand Maester Ebos. But I think the, the Citadel will actually burn. Uh, and then I think Gilly and Little Sam are all grand as well. But, however, I think Ghost, unfortunately, probably will die. I think he might go out with John. I think John and Ghost will fight the Night King together, essentially. 
Um, uh, and I think a lot of that kind of sounds cheesy, but I think it would actually work, and I think it would be cool. Maybe maybe the uh, ghost takes down the Night King's horse or something like that. It'd be kind of cool. Anyway, moving on. So that's all the North. Uh, now we have Daenerys' group. So, okay, let's go. So Daenerys, I actually generally think she will survive. Now, a lot of people think that she will die, and I think it's possible a lot of people have put... Uh, you know, she'll die in childbirth. However, I'm going to go on a list, and it was a tricky one for me because I almost put her as dead, but I feel like they will actually, um, it's really one I'm, I'm generally on the fence for. Like, I can really see John dying. I think it would be weird if he didn't die, but Daenerys is one where I'm like, I'm not too sure because it's always kind of, um, you know, she's always been the head of her story, and uh, yeah, John has as well, but John, John's purpose has always been to defeat the Night King, while Daenerys's purpose has always been to try and take back her, um, her father's throne, but that's not always been John's purpose, being you know what I mean. Um, it's been his purpose for like since season two, I guess. Uh, and I, I just generally don't think Daenerys is um, gonna die. I don't really see it personally. I don't think they have the balls to kill her off. I think, yeah, I think she'll survive. I think out of the big three, Tyrion, Daenerys, and John, I think they're gonna keep two of them alive. Personally, I, I personally would like it if two of them died. Actually, I would like it if all three of them died. It would be kind of shocking. But then again, of course, Tyrion. I think Tyrion's gonna live as well think he will stay as Daenerys's hand. I don't know if Daenerys is quite going to have... I think the throne will be destroyed, but then I think they'll kind of rebuild it. And I almost feel like they'll rebuild, they'll rebuild it for a democracy. I think that democracy is where they're going to go from here. So, and that's kind of what Tyrion was talking about. Because Daenerys... And I guess she could have a kid, and it's, it's possible that her and Jon will have a kid. I, I, you know, it, it, maybe. But... Um, I would prefer it if she didn't, and they actually created this kind of democracy uh, to do it, and maybe even Cersei's kid, uh, that I don't think it's going to be born, but maybe they plan for Cersei's kid to be the next kind of heir, and of course, Cersei will lose it, and we'll get into that in a minute, but anyway, Varys, I think Varys will be fine, Varys, Varys, um, I don't really see him dying either, there wouldn't really be much point of him dying, um, personally, I don't think, and I think he's always kind of been this guy who's, who's to advise and stuff, the same with Tyrion, like, I think Tyrion's purpose, his story's kind of ended all, already for me, um, and there wouldn't be much point of killing Tyrion, same with Varys, I think Varys' story's kind of already ended for me, so, um, I don't really see much point of, um, killing him, but then we have Theon, and, um, yeah. Now, Fionn, a lot of people think he's going to die while rescuing his sister, and I kind of agree. I feel like he will die. I feel he will kill both. I think he will kill Euron, and Euron will kill him. Uh, so it's like a kind of, <laughs> a, um, they kill each other sort of thing. Um, and Yara kind of manages to get free or something. Maybe she's fighting someone else. She manages to to break free. She goes to check up to help Fionn, and they're both essentially dead on the floor. They've they've kind of both stabbed each other multiple times, and they've kind of, kind of a bit way, a bit like uh, the way Barristan Selmy went out, and um, how he and the Sons of the Harpy, like, he basically killed a lot of the Sons of the Harpy, but in killing a load of them, he died in the process. I think Fionn will be kind of similar. And of course, I think Yara will be fine. I think she will rule the uh, Iron Islands on her own. Um, I know it's a bit predictable, that whole thing, but hey, I, I, think, I think it is very possible. That they're going to do that. And then Grey Worm. Now, Missandei and Grey Worm, I think one of them has to die. And I think Grey Worm is kind of just the obvious one who's going to go. I think he will die whilst doing some sort of big fight. I think he will sacrifice himself or something. For But I almost feel like the entire Unsullied and the entire Dothraki are going to be wiped out. Um, I think he might die with like the war of the night king but i think it's also possible that the golden company might kill him like the golden company will ambush the unsullied and actually murder him and then we have Missandei, she'll be grand Alaria sand i just sort of throw her through her in there i do think she'll die i think maybe they'll confirm her death or maybe cersei will kill her i, I don't know if we are going to see her it's possible that we just won't see her at all because i think the actress did say she's not returning but um i guess um i don't know maybe King's Landing blows up or something, I don't know, something like that, uh, I could see happening, but I do, I feel like they will either confirm her death, or, um, yeah, or maybe we'll see her die somewhere or another, one way, I don't know, but, <laughs> yeah, Larry Sand, just throw her in there, anyway, Jorah Mormont, this is the big one, because Jorah Mormont is one of my favourite characters, um, but I do think he will die i think we all think i think we all kind of know he will die you know he's cured himself to stand by his queen and i feel like he will sacrifice himself to save daenerys um you know and i yeah i think he will just die um i i, I don't really see him surviving i think 
kind of the purpose of his character is he's going to end up dying. I think that's just the inevitable that's going to happen. Um, yeah, and then we have the two dragons. So first of all, we have Drogon, and then we have um, forgive me. <laughs> Uh, this is named after this is Rhaegar, Rhaegar, whatever. Um, yeah, I think they are both die. And um, why do I think they're both going to die? Well, I don't see dragons. I think they're going to end the whole thing with magic. I think, yeah, I think magic's going to end uh, into to a degree uh, when they kill the Night King and stuff. I feel like the dragons will die whilst doing the war. Now, I feel like Drogon will. Um, it's, it's, it's a difficult one because I'm not. I'm trying to think how they will die. I think one of them is going to be killed by Cersei, one of the dragons. The other dragon, I feel like, will be killed by um, the undead uh, Viserion. Uh, yeah, that's that's his name. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think the other one will be dead by. Will be killed by the undead Viserion, or almost they'll kill each other, kind of thing. Like they'll both go down, and then they'll just you know sort of kill off that dragon so it doesn't turn again. So the Night King doesn't gain a dragon, but I feel one of the I feel there will be a dragon battle, and I feel the one of the dragons. I think Drogon will probably finish them off, but I think possibly that Drogon will then be killed by Cersei later on, um, after they've sort of killed. They're not killed the Night King, but they've weakened him by taking his dragon away from away from him. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Then we have King's Landing. I know I'm kind of dragging on here, but first of all, we have Cersei. I think Cersei will die. I think it's kind of inevitable that she will go. We have Jamie. I think Jamie and Cersei will both die together. I think that we have to get rid of both these guys before uh, we end. And, uh, well, Cersei's definitely have to get rid of her. I guess Jamie could survive, but I actually see Jamie <sighs> caught killing Cersei. I know that's, again, it's a very predictable thing that a lot of people have thought, but I, th I do see that, and I think he will die in the process because I think may he might kill her whilst it's getting sacked and then maybe some dragon fire or something. I don't know. Then we have Kyburn. I think Kyburn will obviously just die in the crossfire. Again, another familiar face we'll see go. Then we have um, Greg Clegane. I think the mountain, I think the hound will actually kill his brother finally. Um, so yeah, I think he's going to go. Bron, I think Bron will be safe. I think he's too smart to get caught up in all this shit. And I think he'll just leave King's Landing probably after Jamie knows that Jamie's gone. So the hound, I think, will be grand as well. I don't really see the hound going anytime soon. I um, think he will be great. Um, and then we have just the little birds. I just. You know, I just sort of throw them in there. I think they'll be grand as well. I think, or maybe it's possible that they'll actually turn on Kyber and kill Kyber because they were working for Varys the whole time. That would be kind of cool. And something that always confused me with the little birds, like they were always loyal to Varys, and then, you know, one day they just um, decided to go with Kyber. And then we have um, uh, Euron. I think Euron will die. Of course, I've already said about this. I think he will be killed by Theon. And then we just have this is to represent Cersei's baby, unborn baby. I think that probably the very first episode we'll find out she miscarried. Then we have the Wall. So first of all, we have Tormund. I think Tormund will die. I think most of the wildlings will probably go, unfortunately. But I don't really see them really surviving. I don't really see Tormund surviving. I think he will just die whilst fighting them. Probably later on in the season, though not at the start of the season, we have. Gendry, who I'm pretty sure is at the wall. I'm pretty sure he's still recovering. I'm not too sure, but um, I think Gendry will be fine. I don't really see the much point of killing Gendry off because we he, he only returned um, this season. But it's possible that him and Arya, maybe. I think there is an age difference there, but I think it's possible. A lot of people said him and Sansa, which I don't really get, but anyway, whatever. Then we have Beric Dondarrion. I think Beric Dondarrion will die at the very start of the season. Kind of um, fighting the... Trying to get kill the Night King. Uh, then we have Ed. I feel like the very again the very start of the season, the first episode. I think the Night King is just going to be wreak havoc across the walls. So he's just going to destroy all the castles. So he'll destroy the Shadow Castle, whatever it's called, the one right on the left, and he'll also go for Castle Black. And I think Ed will die in the process because um, he's going to wipe out all of Eastwatch. And then we have the Night King. Of course, I think the Night King is going to die. Um, we have all the White Walkers, of course. I think all the White Walkers are going to die. And then we have the Undead Viserion. And again, I think he's going to die. Again, very predictable. The, all the bad guys, the bad, the, the, the most evilest of the evil die. But I think it, it can't really end with the Night King surviving. So there you go. <clears throat> Moving on. So we have others. So first of all, this is the um, Greyjoy Priest. Uh, <laughs> for some weird reason, the animation didn't work. But um, yeah, I think the the thing priest is going to die that's the the great joy priest anyway moving on with dario i don't think we'll see dario melisandre i think she might actually possibly and i watched a video talking about this where she's actually the final sacrifice that they need to make i think that's very possible and i still think it is like i feel like she'll go to um 
Essos to like kind of learn about this, and she'll know, and she'll has to return north, and maybe Davos gets pissed off about her returning north. Actually, no, I think Davos will be dead by that point, so it wouldn't really matter. But I think she'll return north, and then John will say, "Hang on, I'm gonna have to kill you," and then she's gonna go, "I know," <laughs> kind of thing. Like, um, uh, I'm return. I've returned north for a reason because I'm the final sacrifice to kind of light up the sword. That would be kind of cool. Um, then we have uh, hang on, I'm trying to remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> Jack and Agar. I don't think we'll see Jack and Agar. A lot of people said we might see him again, but I don't think we will. Hoppy, I think we will see again, and I think he'll be grand. I think possibly, yeah, I think he's probably the most safest place because that will be. I almost feel like the crossroads in will be the final fight. That would be that would be a weird fight, but whatever. Then we have um, Grand Master Ebrus. I actually think he will die because I think the um, the Night King will go that far south and he'll actually attack the Citadel and he'll burn down the entire library. And I think Grand Mr. Ebros will die in the process. But because of this, Sam will have to rebuild the library. So that will be his kind of task. Then we have Nymeria. I think Nymeria will die. I think she will kind of save um, Arya right in the last minute. If Arya is like, I think Arya will actually die and Nymeria will come and save her uh, and die in the process. Just a bit like Summer did. Um, or it's possible that she won't see Nymeria ever again. I guess that is possible. Um, then we have. Uh, I remember his name. The uncle, anyway. <laughs> Edmund. Uh, and, again, I feel like Edmund will join the war. Uh, it's possible he'll die. I'm actually kind of mixed about this, though. I feel like he might survive. But then we have Rosalind Frey, and I don't think we'll see Rosalind Frey, but we'll probably get her mentioned, and of course that is uh, Edmund's wife. But anyway, they're the ones. They're, the, they're all I've done. So that's all my death predictions. Um, so you guys tell me if you think I was wrong of any of them. If you guys have got any of those, any of the predictions, please do tell me. And if you, yeah, if you think I'm wrong, then please tell me why. And anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.